Almost 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with a rare disease. Everyone was certain I was going to die. That's when I realized that healing and hope won't come from chemicals mixed in any lab. And I needed something much bigger to make me better. Glamour Box is my way of reminding everyone, you have a beautiful soul and a glamorous life. Live it to the fullest and brace yourself because the best is yet to come. Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies 12 to the 13, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see where you guys are headed for the dailies. Okay, here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I'm using, uh, I think an obsidian one. Okay, ask the Aries. I draw it at the Aries. <laughs> okay, here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see what you guys have for me, for my gems. 12 to the 13, Gemini. Got your temperance seventh house watch your seventh house always as a partner not as a zodiac okay but you can be dealing with a sag of course okay so because this is your seventh house sagittarian um you could be a very tricky seventh house because you know it's like you like fun they like fun but who you know someone needs to ground the fun okay because this is two people trying to make it work right but both have similar energy that um, it never works out because we both want the same thing and nobody it's like someone needs to change the game okay with the temperance it works out only for a certain part and then there are things it's like <laughs> doesn't work again you know it's like you try and doesn't work out again and it's a good chemistry because this is like you know um, it's, it looks like it's alchemy over here you know putting things together you know like that so um, you try so it's almost like trying different ways and still not working out, but it's you're trying. That's the thing with the temperance. Six of Wands, because the other person likes to party or likes to be around other people, uh -huh, likes the attention of other people. So for you, in, especially in relationship, if you want some sort of exclusivity, it's hard when they're all about you know other people. You get confused. Okay. What's a Six of Wands? Let me see. The Sun card, Sun is in Scorpio right now. It's not in Sag, in Vedic Sidereal, okay? So, you know. You could be dealing with a Sun in Sag, yes. But the Sun will move December 17 to Sag, okay? Um, I see here that there is a joyful celebration that's coming your way between you and this person. And it's moving straight forward to, it's like, you know, um, a communication that's truthful that just it's like straight up do you want to work it out because this is where i'm at you know this is honest honest communication and truthful but i feel like it's you telling this person okay you could be connecting with the leo also and the princess of cups they do have you know sincere feelings towards you as a prince of cups they do want to be with you they feel they feel it okay but i feel like they're more on the i have to say it this is like a playboy style like you know or pl i don't know if there's a playgirl but someone who still likes to their freedom they might probably will not uh, date other people but they still have they like uh, the, they like the freedom that they that they need okay and then that become you know that becomes an obstruction from your conversation now you became scared because you tell you the truth you tell them straight up who you are what you are and what you need in your life and the other person here basically is uh you know it's like taking it casually and Chancellor, they want cash well we've done this in the other read and you want something serious over here that's why you know you don't get here to the nine of swords if it's not something serious meaning like okay i just put myself out there now i'm worried now i'm i don't know what to do other the prince of cups to the six of wands is the moon card see they keep this person is keeping some stuff towards you because the moon card, see, even their little feelings, you know, if there's little or if they have feelings towards you, they keep it hidden. And you have the sun on your side over here, which illuminates it, of course, it's a cycle. But you just want the truth. You know, this person has to come out of the shadow because the moon, you know, reflects shadow face, right? It's also a moody, it's also changing of minds, right? It's a very, how to say, it's like wishy-washy, okay? Because the moon goes on cycle every time. And it's, it's you know, it's like a river flowing, unpredictable. So one minute they want you, next minute they don't want you. So they, basically this person puts you in an imaginary state, which is the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is the card that doesn't exist, right, for me. 
because you all you only think about it but it doesn't really exist so you have you're supposed to have nothing to worry but they put you in a worry basically worried position because of uncertainty okay so i'm going to continue this reading um gemini 12 to the 13 everything is down there the, the tarot class for the second class um hierophant is is there 2019 prediction is there um if you need if you need those stuff i'll see you guys again bye gemini